everybody, and there are a lot of things in the world that irritate me and annoy me and piss me off, but if there's one thing that would make me not want to see you ever again immediately is you telling me spoilers. If you tell me spoilers, I will be like, dude, bye. I mean, I don't want to see you, man. Why are you ruining the movie for me? As a cinephile, I really value the movie watching experience, and I'm pretty sure everybody else out there does as well. Because watching a movie or a show for the first time and experiencing the twist by myself is the best feeling. It's what makes a show or a movie great and fun and exciting. And there are some idiots, douchebags, who are out there and they're all spoiling it for us and they're ruining the entire experience. This topic of spoilers always bothers me because I'm on the internet every day, I go on different websites and I'm always on my nerves. What if I see a spoiler? What if I stumble upon something that will ruin the entire movie or show that is coming out that I'm excited for? But I feel like this subject specifically is more accurate than ever right now because we have two very exciting projects coming out this month. It's Game of Thrones and Avengers Endgame. Game of Thrones Season 8 is coming out literally this Sunday and Avengers Endgame is coming out uh, April 26th and it's the most anticipated film of the year for me and I know for a lot of people out there because tickets literally sold out in like minutes. I mean it broke the internet, it broke websites, it broke records. Game of Thrones Season 8 and Avengers Endgame both are filled with spoilers and I'm really happy that they've so far done a great job not spoiling anything in the trailers. And I know some of you out there are thinking right now, but what about the special look for Avengers Endgame? It had some action scenes and everything. Aren't they some kind of a spoiler? Well, I read that officially the scenes that are in all of the trailers for Endgame are either uh, specifically made for the trailers or they are from the first act of the movie. So we're good people. And as for the season eight of the Game of Thrones, the trailers have been as vague as possible. So thank you very much, Game of Thrones, for not revealing anything in your trailers. Even though some of your actresses, they cannot really keep their mouth shut. I'm talking to you, Sophie Turner. Um, I've heard that she spoiled some stuff, uh, she said some stuff somewhere, but uh, I did not read them and I hope you haven't either. Very sadly, nowadays movie studios spoil half of the movie in their trailers, which is very unfortunate, and some studios spoil the twists or show scenes from the third act of the movie. I mean, I'm hinting at you to see you and Warner Brothers, you do that a lot. So unfortunately, we live in the era where trailers are spoiling movies for us. I mean, shouldn't we at least, people, not seek the twists and the spoilers of the film? I have never understood hackers who hack into HBO and they steal Game of Thrones scripts, Game of Thrones episodes, and they leak it. Do these people not want to see the stuff by themselves? Why are these people seeking spoilers? And I know that there are some masochists who enjoy reading spoilers and twists, they cannot wait. But at least for those people, I mean, please, if you are out there, if you are a person who, you know, likes spoilers, do not care about the watching experience, at least consider that your friends and the other people might not want to see those. So people out there who love reading spoilers, please think about your friends. They might not want to know that. I mean, I've been in so many group friend situations where some Douchebag is like, hey, look, I know the spoiler and this is what's gonna happen. I'm like, always like, well, what are you doing? Please, just don't, will you? So please consider that, always. And as for the movie news websites and profiles out there and social medias, please always add a warning, you know, spoiler alert, couple of them so nobody stumbles upon them accidentally. Like, I have actually recently seen Avengers Endgame spoilers, but thank God, the profiles, they all had the Avengers, a oh, spoiler alert uh, warning, so thank you. Uh, so always add that if you want to share a spoiler. But let's be honest, it's going to be very hard to avoid spoilers for Game of Thrones Season 8 or for Avengers Endgame, but for Avengers Endgame, actually, I decided that I'm not going to go into any social medias about a couple of days before the release date. Um, I hope that everything will be fine and we don't see anything. Now, I really hope that you guys don't either and we'll enjoy the movie in a theater and we will enjoy season eight knowing nothing. You know, sometimes I'm jealous of people who live in the eras where internet was not a thing or it was but just not as significant as right now. People went into movie theaters and they just watched the movie and they enjoyed it. I mean, there were no spoilers. I mean, there were, but they weren't everywhere. So the month of April is going to be absolutely amazing. I mean, the last season of Game of Thrones, I cannot believe it that it's almost over. It's gonna be very sad. I mean, I, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for it to be over. 
And then we have Avengers Endgame, which is not the end of MCU, but you know, it's the end of the story of the original six of the Avengers. And it's almost like the end of the first chapter. And I'm pretty sure this could be very sad and there are gonna be a lot of tear jerking moments in the movie. I know MCU, you have those for us. So I hope we're ready for this month. We have our protective shields. We're protecting ourselves from the spoilers. I hope that we will all enjoy both Game of Thrones and Avengers Endgame. And I'm just super excited for it. I'm sure all of you are out there also. So that's it for this video, guys. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you agree with my thoughts and spoilers? And also count how many times have I said the word spoilers in this video? Probably more than 100. And also I want to know your opinion on one thing. If you could see only one Game of Thrones Season 8 or Avengers Endgame, which one would you choose? Because uh, recently Rotten Tomatoes made a poll on this question and Game of Thrones didn't win. People chose to see Avengers Endgame. And it was really surprising because I would think that people would want to see Game of Thrones ending. But no, people chose Endgame and I want to know your opinion, so comment it down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And if you don't want to miss my other movie and TV show related content, subscribe to this channel and protect yourself from spoilers. And I'll see you next time. Bye.